Uh, hi, welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. So have you ever seen or been that guy where it's just like, you want to go somewhere, but you can't decide what to wear, so you end up haphazardly combining three different styles, one for your shirt, a completely different style for your pants, and a completely different style for your shoes? I think I found that guy, but as a Nerf Blaster. This is the Modulus Tri-Strike, the do-everything blaster, because this thing can't decide what ammo it wants to shoot. So I know you guys are looking at this thinking, oh man, that's a pretty big blaster. That's the Modulus Tri-Strike, except this isn't the Modulus Tri-Strike. This is the Modulus Tri-Strike, except this, this isn't the Modulus Tri-Strike. This is the Modulus Tri-Strike. It's a bolt action retaliator, which already has its fans just for that specific reason. And I gotta say, this review is gonna be very weird to do because I'm not sure how to accurately review three separate components at the same time. So to make this easier on myself, I'm going to put the barrel and the stock attachment point on and review it as one big blaster. And then later I'm going to compare this thing alone to a retaliator to see what the best solution is. I hope that made sense. We'll see how this goes. But first, we have to start out with the design. And I gotta say, this blaster with all three of these things put on, the stock, the top part, and the barrel it looks really really bad and let me explain what I mean by that because on their own these components look good I think the tri-strike is a nice looking blaster the barrel is a cool looking barrel the stock is a good looking stock and this thing combined with the stock looks just fine but here's the problem with attachments like this usually the blaster and the attachments go well together these ones don't. There are really big, weirdly shaped gaps in the front and in the back where the stock are. There's parts of the internals being revealed because it seems like it was just meant to have a diagonal piece of plastic right here. The top part just looks like an attachment. It has these grills that don't go onto anything else on the blaster. It just looks really dumb. A better example would have been the Modulus Mediator because the Mediator did the same thing with kind of proprietary attachments that were designed specifically for the blaster. But the reason the Mediator worked was because the attachments flowed effortlessly with the design of the blaster itself. This one just doesn't, so when you put all the stuff on it, it just looks like a mess. And if you're wondering if they painted both sides, take a guess. And they, they kind of did, but they didn't paint Nerf, they didn't paint Modulus, they didn't paint anything, it's just, yeah, they, they didn't paint both sides, guys. But let's get on to the ergonomics. The grip is okay. It's very, very mid. And the reason why I say that is because of this stupid big hole that's in it. I don't know why they put a big hole in it, but it really takes a lot away from the grip. And with this tight stock, it actually gets pretty cramping to use this thing with the included stock, which luckily though, is the perfect length. That's rare and it actually feels good to shoulder this. I think the stock is really good, if albeit a little bit wibbly wobbly because it does that. And I'll explain what that does in a little bit. The foregrip is very nice. It is big and comfortable and you can get your whole hand around it. So honestly, the stock and the foregrip make up for the weird inconsistency with the main grip. And overall, I'd say that the ergo on this blaster is pretty solid. Too bad if you put your cheek on this thing, you can't actually see anything because there's an object blocking the way. Let's get on to the triggers. The main trigger here is, ugh, listen to this. It has not aged well over the years. It is so stiff and it just does not feel good at all. It is, oh man, I figured it felt okay when this blaster first came out and I first got it because I don't remember the trigger being this bad, but it is, it is really bad. I don't like this trigger anymore in the slightest. It is genuinely like actually painful to pull this trigger. Even when you prime the blaster, it just doesn't feel reliable. It feels smushy and it feels so stiff. Ugh, as for the priming handle, well, the priming handle is just a bolt action. You pull it back, you push it forward, and you can fire, and it kind of has slam fire. If you're holding the trigger all the way down, you can't prime it. But if your trigger is slightly released, then you can prime it, and it will slam fire. But, like, it, it has slam fire, but it doesn't, and the slam fire is super janky, and it super doesn't work, and it's just, like... I don't know if this thing is meant to have slam fire or not. The trigger is so bad that I genuinely can't tell if it's designed to have slam fire or not. But yeah, how does this blaster work? Well, it is basically just a retaliator. So you take this, you pull this back, 
You put your mag in. You put your mag in. You push it forward. You fire once. Or it has slam fire. Except it doesn't. I really don't know. I really don't know. Oh, but wait. Oh, there is more. Because I call this blaster the Overcompensator 9000 for a reason. You take a demolisher rocket, you shove it in the top, you pull the stock back, you shove it forward. It shoots a rocket, not very far. Because of this tube, it isn't the best. The seal is broken, it's very broken. I don't know if I should say that is cool or not. Because this thing is massive, it really is. I need to stop singing, I'm stuck at singing. But yeah, you literally take a demolisher rocket and put it in the top, and then the stock fires the demolisher rocket. The problem is, because of this tube that it uses to take the air from the stock to the rocket launcher, it just isn't very powerful, it's not nearly as powerful as any of the other ones, and it just becomes useless, because uh, the demolisher exists. The demolisher has that built in. You don't need this stock with this big silly tube hanging off of it to do the exact same thing better in every way. Oh, but that's not the only thing. There's also this nugget shaped barrel attachment, which you can plug four mega darts into at the same time. And I gotta tell you, just really quick, the concept of this thing is what I wished Modulus stayed as, where you just like plug blasters onto more blasters. To an extent they did that. This is meant to be a four shot Smart AR hamp launcher for Mega Darts, but um, oh that's awful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is aged like milk. This thing already didn't work very well when it came out, and it has just gotten so much worse over time, to the point where this is literally unusable. The wall right there is about 10 feet away, and the darts didn't even make it there when pushing this at full force. That is how unreliable and inconsistent this thing is. Like, it is genuinely awful. Y you heard that. The wall is right there. And I pushed that back as hard as I possibly could, and still, nothing. Ugh, it really sucks. It really sucks that this thing sucks, because this is cool. The idea of having a four-shot Mega Dart Smart AR launcher on the front of your blaster that you can just do whenever because it's part of the foregrip, like just doing that to fire a Mega Dart while actively shooting with the rest of the blaster, is an awesome and interesting idea. But the problem is that it just wasn't executed well. Let's go on to the firing demo. I am genuinely sorry this room is such a mess. I am trying to like find a space to get my stuff. Also the mag release is really bad. It's like too far forward for your finger, but it's like really weird to do it like like this because it pulls backwards. I don't know. The mag release is dumb. That worked great. That worked great as well. There we go. Oh my gosh, this thing is this thing is cooked. There we go. That's better. Let's try to slam fire. Oh my gosh. No, no more of that. What the heck? Ugh. Okay, well that kind of made up for it. So the modulus try strike. Oh no, it's a nugget. And that sucks because a lot of people consider this the best modulus blaster. Not anymore, it's not. It is a nugget blaster on its own and the stuff that it adds to it. Neither of these attachments really work and the blaster itself is just a mediocre blaster that has a worse trigger and worse ergonomics than something like the Retaliator. The only thing that this blaster has over the Retaliator is the fact that it has a tactical rail on the top that isn't being used on the priming handle itself. That is pretty cool. But everything else about this blaster is just so much worse than on the Retaliator. The Retaliator, in comparison, has a nice snappy trigger pull, a nice smooth prime that just works, it's reliable, and it's so much easier to mod because you don't have to try and awkwardly pry off the bolt handle without it breaking. This, you just unscrew it and it pops right open. It does everything you need it to do. I guess another good thing about the Tri-Strike is the back of the stock doesn't have that nub thing that the Retaliator has so you can put worker stocks on it without having to mod the back, so that's pretty good. But the blaster itself is, it's a nugget. And that really sucks because this was genuinely the coolest blaster ever when it came out. There's a reason it won Toy of the Year. 
but the problem is that it just hasn't stood up over the years. The Mega Dart launcher, I mean, you could see in the firing demo, when it worked, it worked terribly, and when it didn't work, it just farted out all three darts. The stock attachment point launcher thing was probably the best thing out of all three, and even then, that's just a nugget. It kind of works, but it doesn't work very good. And the blaster itself only works sometimes. It has a shoddy slam fire that doesn't want to be responsive. The mag release is in a weird spot, and just like shooting it is not pleasant because of how bad the trigger is. It really is depressing how bad this thing has turned out to be as time has gone on. Because I remember this blaster used to be one of the best ones that you could get from Hasbro. And at this point I really can't recommend this for anything. Not really for mods because you can just do the same thing with the Retaliator and not for the attachments because I mean, they don't work! You saw in the firing demo, they barely work, and I don't think that the stock attachment point launcher thing is worth the $50 price tag just for that. You could get the one from the Roblox series, or if you wanted to, just buy a Demolisher. I mean, the Demolisher is so much better. Or if you really are hellbent on getting a bespoke Demolisher rocket launcher, try and find a Thunder Blast, since the Thunder Blast was honestly the best one that ever came out. Surprisingly though, with all that said, they still sell this on Amazon even though this is an older release, so I'll have a link for this in the description below if you want to get this blaster. With that said, thanks for watching. Bye!